off hunting. You know better than that. Go get in. Hey. Oh no! They want to go hunting this way this morning, but we're going to load up and go to the hills over there. It's where we go behind this gate, back up in there. I think they'd like to lock it up if they could. Where you been, Dan? Years ago, I came out of the bottom right there and went up right in here. I used to call coyotes a lot. This is back, man, this is back in the 80s, back in Johnny Stewart days before any of those MP3 collars or anything. And anyway, I'd hiked up about midway on that, on that mountain right there, set up for a stand. And I started, I had a, you know, jackrabbit, whatever, jackrabbit in distress call. Started blowing on it. And I had a doe come across the side of that mountain there. I mean, she was going to get me. And she got probably about, I don't know, 10, 15 feet from me and stomping her front feet. It was crazy. <laughs> I mean, I really thought she was going to get me. Finally, I stood up and started hollering at her and she... And she, it wasn't like she was scared of me. She ran off a little ways and just looked at me like, man, I'll come back. 8.30, maybe a quarter till nine. And it's hot now, real hot. I didn't video much of it, but we trailed up this canyon, exact same canyon. We trailed that lion down when I was with Robert Pino. But we're already burned out. And we're, like two miles away from the truck, so we gotta head back in. Hot, it's almost too hot. There's no breeze in this canyon. Maybe a little one every now and then. It's probably about nine, nine o'clock, maybe 9.30. It's too hot, to, oh, there's a breeze. Feels good. It's too hot. I need to make sure I get back in a little earlier. We got out a little too far. We got four miles now, so eh, I'll make it. 4.3 miles, and it's hot now. Is that the only shade around here, guys? So now I gotta get all the dogs loaded up. 10, 15 minute drive back to the house. Put them up and that's a day. Okay, come on, guys. I put the beep beep collars or telemetry collars on the broker dogs. I've got a whole bunch of these from back in the day. And then the Garmin collars, the shocker on more of the young dogs or the dogs that can kind of get away. And then also like if I put a, a Garmin collar on Booger, I know Booger and P and Jazz are all gonna be together. So that kind of helps. And then if we get, if for some reason they get out or you know, I can't get to them and the collars go dead, then I, I should be able to find them just by being able to track these telemetry, telemetry collars because they got a long, long battery life. At least that's the plan. That's it.
just got bit by a rattlesnake yesterday. Come here. Come here. Sissy, come here. Sissy, come here. She's all swollen up underneath. Across her face. She got bit right there on the nose. I don't know if you can see that right there. Always make sure you take the collar off of them when they're bit because they'll swell up and they can suffocate. And then I give, like last night, I didn't realize she got bit until I got home last night late. And uh, I gave her three cc's of dex in, under the skin, dexamethasone, and then three cc's in the muscle. And then I gave her four cc's of uh, combi or antibiotic. And I'll do that again today, except only three cc's of dex under the skin. Like this, I always wet the pins down and, and squirt this fabric on top. I think it keeps them cooler for a little while. That makes me feel better too. Gotta be one dumb one. And that's it. Ten minutes till eleven. That's a day. It, I mean, I'm, we're not at the hottest time of the day yet either. So that's it. Good day.